Hi, this is Mike at OnPoint. Today more than ever, how many of us are getting our financial statements and, and reliable job and equipment cost reporting timely, consistently? In this example I've got on the screen, for instance, we see, see way too many clients who say, for instance, uh, they had a, a, a schedule, maybe they, they expected their, their February 2020 financial statements uh, on the 10th, 10th of March. And, and maybe they got them on the 27th, and that happens month after month after month, and it's, and it's a mystery at their company. How many of you uh, like there are, are like that? Uh, or we run into too many who, they, they didn't get it in March, uh, didn't get those financials in April uh, until perhaps the 15th. Um, and by now those February numbers really uh, are almost meaningless. Uh, what's become even more important during COVID disruption with, with uh, disjointed offices is, is the concept of the sooner you get these financials out, the more time there is to do everything else. And companies are relying more and more on their infrastructure and their back office, not just to take care of, uh, of uh, company business and help take care of customers, but to uh, help keep, take care of the disruption and to uh, adjust and be as uh, efficient as we can. And we here at OnPoint are going through the same things. So what, uh, what we've done to, to help with this is I'm, I'm happy to announce that in our fall 20 uh, online conference, we'll be having a, a product agnostic session on best practice around, account, around accounting closings, around your financial and job cost closings and equipment cost closings. And I'll hop over here to a, a dashboard that we typically set up. We do this uh, uh, with our contract controller and CFO uh, uh, services <clears throat> and we also can help you set it up uh, for your internal uh, processes uh, for your own uh, resources but but you know the reality is your monthly processes need to be uh, have forecasted dates we need to measure against those dates we need to get better every month understand what happens uh, and we start that with a dashboard uh, metrics around what is the current month what's our uh, projected date to get those numbers out and a constant awareness of percent complete of the tasks and then you know visibility whoop, you don't want to click on the wrong button that that's a key to this visibility then to a quick dashboard of what's what's complete what's what's past due and and what's scheduled uh, just like on your project so that we can adjust to things as they're happening and then helpful links to things that make sense there there should be visibility to the vacation schedule there should be awareness and visibility to unscheduled distractions. These things, more times than not, are a big, big, big uh, uh, con contributor to financial statements that went out late and job cost reports. And then risk. There needs to be a place to capture, address, and solve for risk. That's the only way to address any project. So that needs to be front and center and an easy way to deal with it. And so we'll be showing you this in our Fall 20 uh, online conference. And, uh, and we'll also dig a little deeper. I'll, we'll jump right in then to the month-end closing plan. Uh, we'll, we'll dig deeper then into uh, how companies typically set this up in best practice so, as, so that as they're going through each month, they've got projected dates to close, actual dates to close, and then variances. They, they get visibility to variances so that as folks are going through their tasks, they can not only collaborate on, on a, some online uh, project management tool, we've been through a variety of these like, like most everybody else, but most important, there's, there's visibility to where things are at, where things start falling down, so that next month you can talk as a group, understand what's happening, and improve and adjust. That's the important part, is to look back on what happened just like when you're cross-reporting phases across jobs, where are trends? Where can we improve? That's the way to get better and to avoid these guys happening way outside of the uh, projected, projected uh, dates to distribute financials and uh, job cost reports. So uh, if you're interested in our contract controller services, this is the way we approach it. Uh, if we can help you set this up at your company, we'll be presenting on this in our Fall 20 conference. Either way, if we can help you, don't hesitate to call us, please. As you're thinking about this, remember this 
this dashboard on where projects are at, a quick view onto uh, percent complete, tasks completed and past due, and a way to capture and solve for risk. This should be addressed. This should be a way to address uh, closing schedules and all sorts of internal projects and inter internal processes uh, with our offices now that we've, uh, we're adjusting to and figuring out how to operate with uh, COVID disruption. Please call us if we can help. 877-213-3860. 877-213-3860. Mike from OnPoint. Thanks. Bye-bye.